Hey, it's just Dark1223. Uh, I just wanted to make a short video. Uh, do two things. Explain my absence from Minecraft and uh, show you some improvements I've done on my base. Uh, first of all, I've been kind of waiting for the Halloween update. Um, so there's not a whole lot new in Minecraft l lately, so I've been kind of holding out for the uh, coming Halloween update just to mess around with the new changes. Um, also, uh, I've been playing uh, Fallout New Vegas, which just came out. I was a really big fan of Fallout 3 and the other Fallouts. Um, and I've been waiting for Vegas for a while. And playing it now, uh, I realize that it's a lot better than Fallout 3. It has a lot of the humor that uh, Fallout 3 lacked, which I was really glad to see it back again. But anyhow, back to Minecraft. Um, since my last video, I've made a lot of improvements on my base, and uh, a lot of it's been preparing for the uh, Halloween update. So uh, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I do have torches still, which, as far as I understand, they'll be turned into lanterns. But uh, I put a big lava... I don't know what you want to call it, but there's just a bunch of lava on top of my base, which makes it very visible from a long ways away. And uh, come the Halloween patch, you know, uh, the lava will never run out, unlike torches, so I won't need to use flint and steel to uh, ignite those again. But uh, aside from the outside of my base, I've made the inside completely torchless. And uh, that lava that you saw on top of my base also, I put a glass ceiling in so that it will light the inside of my base. But I've also added a uh, lava river on that side, lava river on that side, and one in the floorboards. You know, you'll see there's no torches lighting anything. This is all lava light including that. And uh, if we go down farther, you'll see I've done the same thing down here. I put in lava and glass. Uh, and then I built a little lava fountain right here to light this little end of the hallway. More of the same, lava on the floor. But uh, I have this tunnel. And in order to get rid of torches on the tunnel I put a lava source block right here and it runs all the way down oh, I did have a little stop right here because I heard enemies around this area you know so it's got a little glass here so I can uh, explore this area without having to worry <laughs> goes all the way down to the bottom where I have this little area of lava to light everything uh, and I did make some obsidian here to kind of prepare for the Halloween patch too so that uh, once I find enough diamond I can mine this obsidian I know there's plenty more lava if I go down lower because this actually keeps going down uh, I dug all the way down to the bottom and there were end of the, the bottom of the world blocks, so I stopped digging. But uh, I know I can always go way down there, get more lava, use water to make it obsidian. But you know, this works really well, and it's it's far more efficient than torches. You just have to find lava. But uh, even though lava has a certain distance it will travel if you were to place it just flat, I found that if you place lava on a cliff like this, uh, just like water, it keeps going down until it hits level ground and then it will stop. So really, no matter how long a tunnel is, you could keep it lit just by putting one source block of lava down and having it keep going. And really you don't need this layer of glass right here, I just kind of put it there because I didn't want to be going down the ladder and catch myself on fire like an idiot. 
Even though I could put myself out right here if I really needed to. Uh, oh yeah! One more thing that I put in was uh, a garden. A wheat garden. And instead of having it lit by torches, it's lit by lava. Uh, I put one lava in the middle, surrounded by glass, and there's my water source right there because the, the lava will keep the water liquid in this condition. And I put lava right there and there and one big lava spring on this side and this works really well. I wasn't sure if it was gonna. I know torches work to uh, help your plants grow but this is kind of an experiment for me just to see if uh, the lava would keep it growing well enough and Obviously it has, because I have wheat. Lots of it, too. Like I started off with maybe 10 seeds or something like that. And, you know, now every time I keep going, I, I almost have way too many seeds to... There's still a few patches, but I'm sure the next time that I go through here and pick all this wheat, I'll have plenty of seeds to fill this entire area. Yeah, this is my base. Now at least. It's entirely torchless. So, come the Halloween patch, I won't have to worry about anything. Although, it'll all be turned into lanterns anyway, but... You know, whatever. It's just something you can do uh, post-Halloween patch to keep your base lit it's a little harder because uh, you have to find lava and usually you won't find lava by digging down uh, without finding enemies oh I also planted a tree right there in the middle of the ice looks kinda funny wasn't sure if it was actually gonna grow but it did uh... anyway uh, that's a quick update I'm going to go back inside so I start in there. Ah. That's a quick update for all, all, my, all my subscribers. Um, expect to see a lot more Minecraft after the uh, Halloween update. Uh, I might even post some Fallout New Vegas videos. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, but anyway. What the... whatever anyway thanks all for watching and i will see you guys next time